For the greater part of 11 years, I have lived in a truck and sometimes other people's trucks. Now here's the interior of the truck. I just started, when I first started it, it was making a really loud grinding noise. Um, there's fluids leaking everywhere out of the engine, like bad. It smells so bad in here. Like it stinks so bad. Oh God. You know, I went along with a lot of things to keep peace with the tribe. Hell no! And not only hell no, no. So I have my own truck now, but there is still one thing that bothers me. Cut. Prep for scene two. Cue the epic music in three, two, one. The moment somebody tells me I can't do something, all I can think about is proving them wrong. They said I'd never make it as a truck driver. They never make it through truck school. They were wrong. It wasn't easy. The truth is, truckers are under an immense amount of pressure. We work 14 to 16 hours a day. We see the worst of society face all kinds of weather. I've personally had six close calls with tornadoes. Radar and storm spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado moving east northeast at 50 miles per hour. Take cover now. This is an extremely dangerous tornado with complete devastation likely. You could be killed if not underground. to rescue people on the side of the road. And at the end of the day, you find yourself exhausted and alone in the back of what feels like a large van. The prison mattress doesn't help the somber feeling. No, I'm not kidding. They literally give us a prison mattress to sleep on. So I was trying to make it feel less like a prison and bring more of the comforts of home. And these jersey sheets looked really comfortable. The problem was, they were stretchy. A little too stretchy. start brush. Brand new mattress, brand new comfort. Let me just 
say, memory foam mattress, best decision ever. The comforter is nice, but I haven't been quite honest with myself. Pushing so hard to prove yourself can be a double-edged sword. Sometimes you push so hard to be respected as an individual that you find yourself trading personality for respect and find yourself losing the very individuality that you wanted in the first place. The truth is, the bed is comfortable. It still feels like I'm sleeping in a van and I only bought the comforter to look professional. Not because it truly represented my personality, but today, I am saying hell no. And not only hell no, but no. This time, I'm gonna do things my way. Every time things got bad, I would put her music on, sing along, and I just knew that somehow everything was going to work out. Plus, I'm bisexual, and I think she's sexy as f By the way, it no longer looks like a van.